even the father who haven't met since Easter all of us, we are grateful to you that you have given us this short opportunity to be here together, few as we are. I want you to represent the whole diocese because I received information from the Nunciature that he was sending me a special message from the Pope to be delivered today at one o'clock. I was expecting his secretary to come and I was told that if he's not here by one o'clock, I deliver that message on his behalf and it is a message that is coming from the Holy Father himself. And uh, the message is not is still subsecreto pontificio until one o'clock this afternoon. It will be twelve o'clock Roman time. Now, since it is not yet one o'clock, subsecreto pontificio, I'm not allowed to read it. But I can tell you that the message is important for our diocese, for the Archbishop himself, for the Auxiliary Bishop, who is not here but is in the house, uh, for everybody, the Vicar General is here, the Episcopal Vicars cannot come because we are not yet allowed to travel. Uh, we are supposed to observe the regulations of our government wherever we happen to be. I didn't expect this message to come as soon as it did, but I have <coughs> not yet seen the Secretary of the Nunciature and the Nuncio himself is not here, but I have received the message already in a, a simpler envelope. <coughs> And I opened it last night, and now uh, the message is in several parts. And I think it is nearing the right time. I will start with the first part. But I started with the sign of the cross. <laughs> We didn't conclude the prayer. <laughs> Heavenly Father, through the risen Lord that you sent to us, we are here to carry out your mission. We ask you to bless us and bless those who are going to receive this message. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, the message as I have told you, is in three parts. The first one is a letter addressed to me. Kampala, 23rd April, the year 2020. Your Grace, I have the honor and the joy to inform you that the Holy Father Pope Francis has appointed Right mm -hmm. Reverend Lambert Vinomicha Auxiliary Bishop of Umbarara to succeed you as the new Archbishop of Umbarara. <laughs> While accepting the resignation from the pastoral care of the Archdiocese presented by Your Grace upon reaching the canonical age limit, the announcement will be published in Rome on Saturday, 25th April 2020 at 12 noon, 1 p.m. Uganda time. You will remain as the Apostolic Administrator of Umbarada Archdiocese until the day of the canonical opposition by the new Archbishop. I take this occasion to thank Your Grace for your general service and leadership for more than three decades as coadjutor, as bishop, and first metropolitan archbishop of Umbarara. May God bless you in abundance. With assurances of my best wishes and prayerful communion, I remain yours sincerely in Christ, Luigi Bianco, Apostolic Nuncio, 
and at the bottom my, the name of Bachenga is written. That's one part. Number two, uh, this is addressed to Bishop, the Right Reverend Bishop Lambert V. Nomisha, Bishop of Mbarara. He has already got his copy. Your Lordship, I have the honor and the joy to inform you that the Holy Father, Pope Francis, has appointed your Lordship as the new Archbishop of Mbarara, while accepting the resignation from the pastoral care of the Archdiocese presented by His Grace Most Reverend Paul Kebachenga upon reaching the canonical, canonical age limit. The announcement will be published in Rome on Saturday, 25th April, 2020, at 12 noon, 1 p.m. Uganda time. Most Reverend Paul K. Bachenga will remain as the Apostolic Administrator of, the, of Mbarada Archdiocese until the day of your canonical possession. I would like to express my congratulations on this manifestation of the confidence which the Holy Father reposes in you and extending my prayer for God, good wishes for your new responsibility. I remain yours sincerely, Luigi Bianco, Apostolic Nuncio. It also has come with the other letter which you have already listened to. And the last part is the following. Important and urgent, under embargo until 1 p.m. 25th of April, the year 2020, to the Catholic media of Uganda and any other who may be interested. Announcement of the new Archbishop of Mbarada. The Apostolic Nunciature has the joy to announce that the Holy Father, Pope Francis, has appointed Right Reverend Lambert V. Nomoja, Auxiliary Bishop of Mbarara, as the new Archbishop of Mbarara, while accepting the resignation from the pastoral care of the Archdiocese, presented by Most Reverend Paul K. Bachenga, upon reaching the canonical age limit, the new Archbishop was born on 12th July 1961 at Kashumba. After the primary school at Bumunjiro, Chabahesi and Chienje, he completed his secondary school from Chitabi Minor Seminary Bushenyi. He did his philosophical studies at St. Thomas Aquinas Major Seminary Katigondo in Masaka. After having completed theological studies at St. Mary's National Major Seminary at Gaba, he was ordained a priest of the Diocese of Mbarada on 13th July 1991. He has a doctorate in canon law from St. Paul's University, Ottawa, Canada. He has served as an assistant at St. Joseph the Walker Parish in Rubindi, Mbarara, from 1991 until 1994. Chaplain at Corpus Christi Chaplaincy of Mbarara University of Science and Technology, 2002 to 2003, and as the Chancellor of Mbarara Archdiocese from 2000 to 2005. On 2nd July 2005, he was nominated as the Auxiliary Bishop of Mbarara with the titular see of Tasia Montana. He received the Episcopal ordination on 1st October the year 2005. On 13th November 2009, 
He was nominated as the Apostolic Administrator of the Diocese of Hoima. He carried out this responsibility till 29th February, the year 2016. On this occasion, as we congratulate the new Archbishop, we express our gratitude to Most Reverend Paul K. Bachenga for his generous service and leadership for more than three decades as coadjutor, bishop, and the first bishop of Umbarada, the first archbishop of Umbarada. He was also chairman of the Uganda Episcopal Conference. He will remain as apostolic administrator of Umbarada until the day of the canonical opposition of the new archbishop. This is a copy with another one. And the third one for the media. So the Secretary for Social Communications will retain a copy here. The other two copies will be made available to you, Sister Watson, my hope you are listening, so that you can send copies to the media who may need to have access to this. I think those are the three parts. One for me, one for Lambert, and one for the general public. But there is still another one, but it is drawn from these three that you have already listened to. Since it is written in a language which many of you might not, not, might not understand, I don't intend, I didn't intend to read it to you all because it has come in the original language of Rome. But if for your own curiosity you want to hear it, I will make it available in its original language, in its original form. And this is a decree. It's not a letter, it is a decree, and in that language of theirs, they call it decretum. Cum atidios, ce archidiocesis bararensis in Uganda, vacaverit post renunciationem excellentissimi ac reverendissimi domini Pauli K. Batenga, Hoc di Casterium Gubernioni Eusidem Vacantis Archidiocesis Provedere Cupiens Omnis Omnibus Mature Perpensis Vigore Facultatum Specialium Sibi a Santissimo Domino Nostro Francesco Divina Providencia Papa Concesum Excellentissimum Acreverentissimum Dominum Paulum K. Batenga Atepiscopum Emeritum Bararensem Administratorem Apostolicum Eusidem Vacantis at Diocesis Nominat et Constituit Usquedum Novus Atepiscopus Canonicam Sedis Possessionem Capiat Eique simu tribuens omnes facultates in eadem circumscriptione ad ordinarium administrationem spectantes. Datum Rome ex edibus congregationis progentium evangelizatione die ex ex five mensis aprilis anno domini MMXX full stop <laughs> to put it very briefly this is the official appointment of Vachenga as administrator of Umbarara Archdiocese until Lamba takes over now it's Asagara Nenchi I'm not the one to announce 
when he will be taking canonical possession of the archdiocese. That work is his. The new archbishop will choose when he can or he wishes to take over possession of the archdiocese. But from this moment onwards, he is free to take canonical possession of the archdiocese of Umbarada. But at the time after this, he will tell us, he will tell his archdiocese when he is taking canonical possession of the archdiocese. That is the end of the communication in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.